I'm going to select the top surface of our base and I'm going to add another sketch. So now we're looking at creating the side of our box or our tray. So I'm going to go with another rectangle. Okay, so you can either use the shortcut key R or you can come and select the two point rectangle from up in the create and, and sketch dialog box up the top here. So R for rectangle and along one side, I'm going to draw our rectangle. Now a rectangle is 200 long and it will lock to that. You can see the little cross at the end there. But it's not 15.475 millimeters thick. Okay, our side is 12 millimeters thick. So we're going to go with that, type that in there and hit enter. Now if we select the shape that we've now created, we need to make this now three dimensional as well. So we're going to press E for extrude again. We're going to drag this out. You can see it's the same material. We are selecting the distance here. We want a distance of 42 millimeters. Now, in our extrude dialog box on the right here, we have a number of options. We can change the distance up here. We could change a taper angle if we wanted to. But the one we really want to look at is operation. We don't want to join these together. We want them to be separate parts. So we're going to come down. I'm going to say new component. Now select new component. This is going to give us another component over here under base that we can name side and manipulate in our assembly. So we're going to select OK. Back over to component. Double click. And we're going to call it side. Now, we aren't quite finished with our side just yet. We've got a couple of angles that we need to measure and make up. So I'm going to select the top short edge and I'm going to put a chamfer on this edge. So I'm going to go up to modify, down to chamfer. Uh, now this chamfer, we do not want to be equal distances. We want to be unequal distances. We want two distances. So we're going to go and select two distances. This gives us two different arrows. Now we can slide these arrows or we can put our dimensions in the box over here. So the first dimension will be 12. The second will be 6.5. This gives us an uneven chamfer, but it is what we're looking for at the moment. So we're going to select OK, and you can see we have our chamfer on the top left-hand corner. Now if we toggle around, we also need a chamfer on this inside edge. So we're going to select that inside edge, back up to chamfer. This time we don't want two distances, we want equal distances. So it's going to turn from two to one arrow. And we're going to go with the distance of 12. 12 is going to give us a perfect 45 degree angle, which we can then use to join with our handle on the other side. Select OK. Our part is now complete, except for our material. So we're going to select the whole part, the whole component, Right click, physical materials. Now in this design, we have pine here already. So we might grab that from the top here, drop it on, and we're done. And we can click close. Now you'll see here that the direction of the grain is not quite correct for what we're making. That's okay at this point. We'll actually change that when we go through into our uh, rendering of our of properties. Okay, so for now, the physical material on there is perfect. 